Hey everyone, I'm Pastor Gary Hoban and welcome to Season 2, Episode 5 of Refinery Life TV. Our goal here is to release a 2-3 to three minute video and also podcast each day designed to challenge you and to get you to spend some more time with God. Today, we're going to talk about first things first. It's always a good place to start, isn't it? With the first thing. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When I'm asked to do something, I often think of this verse. The truth contained within it is helpful to structure my days and to maintain my focus. How do you begin to set the right priorities for your life? with the pull of everything that is happening in the world today and everything that we're told is important. It isn't easy, but it's absolutely essential if you want to make sure you don't miss the things that really, really matter. When we look at today's verse, some people have a tendency to read the first part quickly so they can get to the last part and all these things will be added to you. If we're honest, we would probably admit that we would prefer to receive the last part without the first, focusing on what we need. It's the stuff that happens each day, the pressing needs of everything around us, everyone around us, even if they are good things that can take our focus away from what matters most, which is our relationship with God and the people He has put in our lives. But look at the verse. Let's look at it again. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. How can you do that? With all the challenges, all the obstacles, and everything that is urgent every day, Is it even possible to seek first the kingdom? Let me suggest that you keep doing what you're doing right now and taking a few minutes to be quiet and spend time with God. That's the way we can do it. When you do this, you'll be surprised at how he will lessen your worries about tomorrow and today. And he'll release you from the tiresome pace of the world's urgent priorities for today, so you can make room for his priorities every day. Dedicating time for the priorities of God he has entrusted you with may not seem a big deal right now, but to someone who needs you, it can make all the difference in their lives and in turn in yours. Starting today, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And watch as these things will be added to you. Until tomorrow, stay in the blessings.